That's the good shit. Nice. Anise. And is that? Yup. Stock cream in your butter. Sugar extract eggs. Honey and some sugar. Crack one egg at a time. Let me put this on. slowly and don't forget to switch the paddle attachment it's starting to come together but it's got to pull off the sides of the bowl so you got to keep adding the flour okay so this is our dough Oh yeah, okay. Scrape the sides. Make a ball and start forming your shapes. Take a piece of dough, either roll it in your hand or down here. I like rolling it in my hand. Make it long enough. you think that is? Ooh. Something along these lines. You're gonna make like a knot. Think they saw it? Mm -hmm. Something like that. It's one. Repeat the process. We could also make these round, which I'll show you after. Go this way, you could go whatever way you want to make a knot. It's up to you. Okay, then you could just make them round. Just get a piece, make them round, but we'll put a little thumbprint in it. And I'll make the rest. Okay, here's the first tray done into a 350 degree oven from like 10 to 12 to 15 minutes. Just watch them get golden brown. And these are already starting to come up. They're starting to puff out and they'll be nice, puffy, light, tasty. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, and here they are when they come out. Now we're going to frost them. Put them on a cooling rack, let them cool. Uh oh, timer! Some powdered sugar. You're gonna make a thick frosting. Don't make this thinned out because it won't adhere to the cookie. Some vanilla extract. 
If you have anise, you go with the anise. I'm using my Anisette Lucca. Yeah, we want to get drunk. Now, if this becomes too liquidy, add more confectioner sugar. If it's too stiff, add either a splash of milk or anise or vanilla. Which we're going to need a little more. Okay. Get <laughs> Smells nice. Well, I can't film it. Well, let me go do ahead. It. Take it over, cause I can't. My assistant has the hands of a KitchenAid. <laughs> that's a bowl, so you don't want that, cause that's wee. <laughs> you, no. Put a splash of milk in, cause um, yeah, to thin that out a little bit. that thick. Pretty good. It's like frosting. Take your cookie, either you dip it in and set it on a plate or you drizzle it with a spoon. And where's the nonpareils? Uh oh. I forgot the nonpareils. Put some nonpareils on top of these sprinkles or um, any type of um, sprinkles that you like. Use your nonpareils. You could sprinkle them with your hands. Put a couple on that on top. Although my hands right now are filled with sugar. And I'm going to frost the rest. And these are Italian anise and Isette cookies. Enjoy! Oh, I dropped it in there. Oh man, it fell right in. Just let it drip. Oops. These are delicious. Is that out there? Screaming out there. <laughs> and then let these dry. How's it gonna leave it on? <laughs>